Hi, hello, hey. So, I went to my local art store and I found these two vintage watercolor palettes. They're super dirty, so I'm gonna try to clean them up. And you know, I thought I'd film it, thought it'd be interesting. So, here they are. This first one, um, I tried to look stuff up about them, but I'm just not realizing I only did about the other one, so I don't know anything about this one, but yeah, I know what it looks like. <laughs> it's kind of hard to open, but you got the primary colors in black, and as you can see, they're both of them are used, so I don't really care though, because you know, they're just watercolors, but yeah. You got your little primary colors, little brush area if you want to put a paintbrush in there, and a little mixing palette. And this one doesn't really close, so it's just kind of open, which is kind of annoying, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to fix that, but I will figure it out. And then, yeah, a lot of cleaning needs to be done for this one. <laughs> Got 12 colors, and a lot of paint on the mixing palette. And I think right here is like a brush holder, so you can like... Actually, I haven't tried that yet. That works really well. So that's cool. I think the brush holder is the most exciting part. And these ones actually pop out, which I think is really nice. And the other ones might come out, but I couldn't get them out. So paint might have like dried in there which made them hard to get out but we'll see how that goes so yeah <laughs> so now I'm just gonna try to clean them out Okay, I finished cleaning out the palettes. Are you ready? Dun dun dun. I'm very excited to see how these paints work. And these ones, when I was looking stuff up about them, I think they might be opaque watercolors. So, 
that'll be interesting, but look. Look how clean that is. It was covered in paint that like I couldn't even see. There was like color names down here and stuff. That was a surprise. <laughs> and I think these are a German company. Feel like that's safe to assume. But yeah. Now it's time to swatch them. It's the most important part. Okay, so I'm surprised with how clean the colors were. Like, I cleaned out the yellow, but I didn't really clean out any other color before I used it. And they still look so nice. <laughs> I thought the colors were going to look more brown since they were kind of mixed up with each other. But yeah, so that's nice. And I swatched um, this one out twice because it was super dirty. So I thought it would be kind of like brown too. But I mean, still kind of looks the exact same in those. So yeah. I'm very excited to paint with these. <laughs> and now it's time for the next ones. Dun dun dun. Oh yeah, also I fixed the closing problem. Oops. Now it's like hard to open. But look. I put some tape right there to make it so the clothes would be tighter so it would stay shut. And it um surprisingly worked. So that's nice. <laughs> okay, next ones. Okay, so, so far these watercolors actually seem like really similar to each other. I think these ones might be a little bit more pigmented, maybe. And I tried to mix some colors, but um, I didn't actually mix them in the palette, I just kind of mixed them on the paper, so, you know, they're a little uneven. <laughs> but yeah, um... I think if I'm going to use these, I'm probably going to add a white, just because I like pastel colors, so I guess I could like put it over here or something, a little bit of paint. So yeah, those are the swatches. Yeah, I did just set a palette on top of my wet swatches, it was a great plan, totally. And in my next video, I will probably paint with them. Hopefully, that's my plan. <laughs> so, if you want to see that, stick around. And uh, see you then.